Are you guys tired of being absolutely dog just like this guy? He can't even make it out of an opens in FNCS. <clears throat> Sorry, adults. Well, you guys are in the right place. Today, I'm going to be showing you how all pros warm up and improve at this game. Starting off, we are doing 1v1 zone wars. You want to make sure whenever you 1v1 someone, you're doing it against someone that is at equal skill level, if not 20 times better than you. You learn a lot better if you are fighting players at the same skill as you. You learn even better if they're 20 times your skill level. Now, I'm 1v1ing my friend JCM. You, some of you might know him. He is the GOAT. He just recently moved over to his new house at zero ping so he he's moving a little bit but zone wars is one of the main modes all pros play you'll see them run tokens in them all types of different tournaments zone wars really helps with your movement and peace control as well as just fighting it in general you want to make sure you're doing a nice routine with zone wars involved in it now there is many zone wars maps but this one i do i think is the best almost every pro uses this one as well so it's probably pretty good it will be linked down below or you can just see the code at the top but i'll have every single map that we show today at the bottom of the screen so you guys can just copy and paste it and load into the map i normally run zone wars 1v1s for probably around i don't know a time limit we'll just say about 20 1v1s when one of us hits like 20 total or just like a decent amount i'm always trying to practice in these and get better as someone that just recently switched to keyboard this is the exact routine that i've been using to get better so fast within a short period so this is exactly what you want to do if you guys want to reach that pro level or just get better at the game. I will be showing you guys a couple more maps that pros use all the time to improve at the game, as well as one secret last thing at the very end. So you guys are going to want to make sure you stay for that. Now let's jump over into the next map. One of my personal favorites, to be honest, I have the most fun with it and it helps with your aim and just so much. Let's just jump right over to it. This right here is one of my favorite maps. I know a lot of pros use it consistently. It's so good to be warming up like your peace control and your shotgun aim because you basically are just going for maxes the whole time and trying to not play like these guys where they're just constantly spraying you want to try to just hit max shotgun damage on every single person to get your shotgun aim really really good but i use this for probably about i don't even know maybe 15 to 30 minutes a day like a part of my warm-up I think it's really good. I think it's really worth it. It'll add a lot more to your game, like movement-wise. It'll get you a little bit better at box fighting as well. Because you'll kind of start to learn your angles. And even for me, with just switching to keyboard and mouse, like this map is still really good. You're going to die sometimes. It's going to happen. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's literally just infinite respawns. You just go right back into it. All of these uh, maps and everything I do will be like in the description below if you guys do want to check it out as well as it is on top of the screen. I know it's a little hard to see on top of the screen though. But these are things that like if you consistently do them, you will see a difference in your game like very quickly. Especially if you go from like not doing it at all to doing it, you'll get so much better. I'm sure if any of you guys have kept up with uh, my keyboard and mouse uh, grind, then you probably see... Man, I am popping off. You probably see that I've gotten a lot better within like my recent time of playing than I was when I first started. And it's because of this exact warm-up that I'm showing you guys. I've been doing all of this for every single day, every single hour like this is i'm just in here if i'm not playing the game i'm normally in creative working on something and i just have time like that not everyone has that kind of time obviously if you don't have that kind of time you know just kind of implement this as much as you can i try to get a like a nice 30 minute to 45 minute warm up in before i start even playing the game but it's just stuff you guys got to grind out you know not all pros became a pro in a day you know they they went through a time period where they're just sitting here grinding the entire time just got shot through that build they're just sitting here grinding the entire time and that's kind of what you got to do that's in the stage that we are right now so if you guys are trying to seek out playing competitive in this game or maybe even just trying to get better at the game in general you know you got to put a little bit of time and you got to be willing to now like i said i do normally do this for about 15 30 minutes i'm not going to do that in the video obviously because that'd be like a lot a lot for the video but I do recommend doing this before you play, but not even just that. Before you go to bed, you should do some kind of warm-up. Some kind of warm-up routine or, like, something, maybe aim training. You know, one of the things I showed you, only do, like, one of them. You don't have to do everything. You can if you want. 
but before you go to bed you you uh learn way better like doing something before you go to bed because you'll wake up and like remember it better it's a like an actual scientific proven thing i've been doing it for a while that's how i learned key key binds better and like all types of stuff see as you can see i need to be in the map a little bit more but try to do something before you go to bed like i said you do remember it better when you wake up i don't know i don't know what it is exactly that makes it like that i just know like that's a real scientific study like that's been done that's why people say you should read before bed and all kinds of stuff but instead we're playing fortnite before bed because we're absolute losers but we love it here we love it as you see i'm kind of cooking right now you know we can you i can sit in this map all day honestly i have fun in it as well and no no guys none of these maps are sponsored or promotions i'm not getting paid to promote any of these these are just generally good ways to warm up And it's what I've used to get better, and it's what a lot of pros use as well. You can play this map, and you'll see pros in your game. We just cooked. We just cooked. But let's move on to the next thing that I do think is a requirement to becoming a pro player, if not just better at this game in general. Let's just move on right over to that and jump into it. Into the next map that I think is actually super important. Now, you guys have seen this map on my channel so many times, but we're not touching any of these. These don't matter anymore. If you're at the level that we are right now, these, all that does not matter. We're just here for the free build mode and to change the speeds. Now, normally I'll just sit in normal and free build for a little bit, you know, just kind of like get a little bit of warmed up, but because I have been on a little bit already, I'm not warming up. Um, we're just gonna jump right into the settings that I'd put it at. You can obviously adjust this to like your own liking, but I normally go for a 0.8 to really practice my crosshair placement. That's what all this is for, by the way, is for your crosshair placement. And it, it takes a little second to get used to, like building in slow, you know, making sure you're pressing every single button. It feels a little weird. Almost feels like you just, you can't do it. Like normal just definitely feels better, but this really helps you get your crosshair placement down and even your button timing to know how much you can press the button with each edit. Now it does feel a little weird. Like I said, it's gonna take some getting used to, but if you add this to your warm-up routine, this whole segment, you guys will definitely start to notice a huge difference in your crosshair placement and your piece control, which is a huge part of this game. Try to practice like free builds that you'd actually do in game. Like, so say I'm boxed up, someone comes out, you know, we're gonna throw this up, you know, go for some piece. You know, try to, try to free build with things you would do in game. Don't just willy nilly free build. Like you're not gonna be doing crazy retakes in a mid game fight in a tournament or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So now after a little bit of going on point eight, we're gonna switch over. Like I said, normally I do each of these for like a pretty long time, but I am already warmed up. So we're not gonna worry about that too much. Now you could, you could lower it even more if you really wanted to. I don't think it's worth it at all. I don't think it does anything for you. I think 0.8 is the lowest that you should go. And then right after 0.8, I go to 1.2. And this makes it so you really have to be super precise with your crosshair. And it feels really weird. And it's really hard to get used to. Because your player is obviously moving so much faster. Like, look at that. I'm, like, pre-editing builds. Even, even I'm not crazy good at it. And I'm not crazy used to it yet. But this is just a really good way to get better crosshair placement. And that's a huge part of this game. Crosshair placement affects how you can piece control better. It affects how you hit shots coming out of edits. It affects so much of this game, and it's a big part that's not even, like, looked at or talked about at all. See, like, I I feel like I can't do anything right now. I haven't... Man. You can even practice side jumps on it. I Side jumps feel a little bit weird on the higher speeds. But like I said, you could you could up it to 1.3. You know, say you got comfortable on 1.2 and you really wanted to try, you know, even faster. You could. This is This feels really weird for me. I'm not used to this at all. This will also get you faster at editing because your player moves at such a higher speed. It makes you press your edit edit key a lot quicker, which I am clearly having an issue with. I'm not used to moving this fast, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. But yeah, say you get comfortable with 1.2, you can move it up to 1.5, 1.7, whatever. I mean, you see how fast I'm moving. It's kind of crazy. This is kind of nuts. But it can be really good. It's a really good warm-up. I know a lot of pros that do this as well. I know people like Polarize, Peterbot, all types of people do this to work on their crosshair placement. But like I said, if you guys really want to up to speed, you can. I just normally play on 0.8 and 1.2 in normal. I think those feel the best. I think they do the most for you. Any faster than that, I think it's kind of just overkill. You don't have to do it. It's kind of just a if you want to kind of thing. You know, maybe you want to have crazy, insane crosshair placement with being able to edit insanely fast. So you want to play, you know, on the maximum, maximum speed, which I don't even, I don't even think I could do this. Yeah, I don't even think I could do this, but... 
Just say like, if you wanted to, you could, you know, if you get used to it enough, you still have that potential. Don't just listen to me and me only on like the two you should play, you know, play what you think are comfortable the most to use. But that's all we're actually gonna use this map for. Like I said, we're not gonna use the other features of this map. You could, if you wanted to, like say uh, you, you want to aim train, you could come in here and you could aim train. But you do not have to. I am gonna be showing you guys my favorite way of aim training, but I know not everyone has access to it. So this is the best way, if you don't have access to this next part, to aim train. And then you can just back out, back out again, pick another one, you know, they have AR tracking. And then you just, this is really hard for me because the bullet drop. But you can just come in here and it has a lot of the same playlists that you would see in things like Kovacs, Aim Labs. You know, it has bounce tracking, which I think this is really good. I think this I think this is one of the best ones. Just in general. So you could use the aim training on this map and the free building. I just don't touch these anymore unless you're brand new to the game. But other than that, that is it for this map. Let's go into the last segment here, and that's gonna be our aim training. Let me show you guys the exact routine that I do before when I get on and before I go to sleep. This is will make your aim 20 times better and almost every single pro does this exact thing. All right, this is what I think is the most important part of playing this game. Even, even when I was on controller, I used to sit in Kovacs. If you don't have Kovacs, if you're on console, like I said, you can use the aim trainer that's in that map, but this is the best way to elevate your game and get better aim. You can get better crosshair placement. You can get better mouse control. Mouse control is a huge part of like keyboard and mouse in general and everyone has their own playlist you know there's tons of scenarios you can find you know mr savage's playlist you guys can't see the names but this is jiven's playlist i'm sure you see the creator name here i have my own playlist that i use you guys have the code here if you want it i can put it in the description below if you guys do want to use it this is what i use every single day i actually need to make one little edit here this is what i use every single day i'm gonna like go through a little bit of them not too many, but you know, I don't want to go through the entire playlist and like do every single scenario, but just kind of like show, give you an idea of like what the aim trader does. Man, I'm, my aim's going to be so bad because I'm like trying to talk to you guys at the same time, but I do this before I get on and before I go to sleep, because like I said, you do remember things better if you do them before you go to sleep and then you wake up. So whenever you're trying to learn something new or just get better at something, it's best to do that before sleep. But this is what I think is probably one of the best ways of getting your aim up. If not your aim, you can get your mouse control up. Say you already have good aim. Mouse control will help you with peace control and all types of other things. Now, there is another alternative to this. If you guys are on PC, you could use Aim Labs. Aim Labs is completely free. Kovacs does cost money. Aim Labs is completely free. I do think Kovacs is better. Like the, 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 I don't know how to talk. The different scenarios and stuff on Kovacs are 20 times better dead aim labs i think at least we're just gonna i'm just gonna do one i'm not gonna go through the second one normally i have like the amount that you do like see there's two there's three there's one i'm just gonna skip and kind of show you guys all the different scenarios that i play i'm not gonna just do my whole playlist right now man it is difficult this one's like the hardest one in my opinion because you have to like track and if you miss too many it's like just you have to reload yeah, it's just it's i'm horrible right now as you guys can see it's okay Wait, we cooked a bit. Sometimes you kind of get into like a flow state in these, which is huge. That's what you want to do. I am, as you can tell, not currently in that. But every pro aim trains. Even if they say they don't, they do. They're lying to you. Every pro aim trains. Muzz aim trains. Muzz has some of the best mouse control out of every pro, I think, ever. Peter by aim trains. But if you Kovacs consistently or aim train consistently at least... You will notice a huge difference in not only your aim and just your your gaming in general. You'll be a lot more confident to take fights because you can trust in your aim because you know you've been practicing it. Right now, if I went into the game with how I'm playing, I wouldn't trust anything. I'm missing so many shots. But that's what we practice for. You know, I'm not used to talking and playing Kovacs. I'm only literally just sitting here listening to music. Like I said, I normally warm up for about 30 to 30 minutes to an hour before I play. And then I'll do my entire warm up again before I go to sleep. You know, I, not everyone has time for that, you know, so just fit things in when you can. 
but it's definitely worth it and you'll see how much better you get overall if you do all of this um, this has another like 30 seconds to it so i'm not going to do that I'm not, i don't want to go through every single scenario the entire time because i want to try to you know get through this video and show you everything like i said this is my playlist i'll have the share code down below that way you guys can play it and try to get better yourselves you know a lot of people pay while their playlist i'm not going to do that you guys can just play you know i want to help everyone get better i don't care to put a bunch of paywall above my playlist and stuff like that i want you guys to improve as well you know get your dreams going not everyone wants to be a pro this is the one of the best ways to do it even if you don't want to be a pro you just want to get better at the game this is still one of the best ways to do it aim training is so important and if i don't do anything in my warm-up i will at least aim train like say i just get on the game i will still aim train before i get on the game like if i don't play any of those maps i'm going to jump in aim train and then play ranked or something there's always going to be something i do i'm never just going to hop straight onto the game i'm not saying it's bad if you do like if you have limited time and say you warmed up like the day before or like you just want to play the game you know obviously you could just play the game i'm not telling you only warm up but it's just up to you there is some fun ones like this one i think is really fun but it also really helps with your shotgun aim But well, I think all these are super fun. I don't know. I really enjoy Kovacs a lot. It's super satisfying to me. Not everyone might be that way. Some people might find it boring. But you just kind of have to discipline yourself into it. If you want to become the best, you got to you gotta train like the best, you know? You got to get to it. You got you to gotta put the work in for it. And then we have Fast Pump Flick. This one's really good. Helps with your reaction time. I'm getting older, so, you know, I got to make sure I'm training my reaction time. We're getting up in age chat my birthday's coming up in august we're gonna be 22 years of age dude we're gonna it's gonna be over my fortnite career is chalked see look at me bro look at me my reaction time it's gone it's down the drain wow it is actually insanely hard to talk and do this at the same time i did not realize that it is insanely hard to do that i'm actually up pretty high on this one this one I have a pretty hard time with. It's real. This one's like one of the best ones for shotgun aim. And shotgun aim has been my biggest issue recently. So I've been putting a little bit of extra time into this. Obviously, you know, if you know you have a biggest issue, you can jump into Kovacs and train that specific one. You don't have to play the playlist every single time. Like sometimes I'll just get on and only play this playlist if I know my shotgun aim is doing really bad and I really need some help for it. Uh, hit all the little jelly beans as best you can. I'm currently beating my high score. That's why I haven't backed out of this yet. So we might get a better high score here, which could be huge. I think that's another reason why I enjoy Kovacs is you can track your progress with the high scores, which I think is just a super nice feature to have so you can see that you're improving. Because trying to improve without seeing it sucks a lot we did get a high score nice we're up more and then th this last one's one of my favorite ones it just helps with your tracking i find it super difficult because one of my biggest issues on keyboard and mouse is resetting my mouse to the center so a lot of the times i'll play this and my arm will literally just drag off of my mouse pad but overall this is super easy to do like you know this playlist obviously i didn't run through all of it like i said i kind of skipped around but it doesn't take that long it does not take that much of your time i think normally it takes me maybe 15 20 minutes just to get through this which really is not that much time Ooh, i hate this one so much sometimes wait all right, we're not getting a high score on that, so we're just going to end it there. But if you guys did enjoy this video, and if it did help you out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.